What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Goliath SMP. Today we're rocking the face cam because I just recorded a Pokemon episode and I already had it set up in last episode I was talking about how I wish I had a face cam for the series because of all the jump scares that kept happening. And so here it is. Here is the face cam for this episode. Um, but anyways, I've gone ahead off screen and sort of um, finished up the mill a little bit. It still needs the roof so we'll be working on that today. Uh, as well as, I don't remember what you guys actually saw me make, but uh, yeah, so I decided I'm going to stack some logs right here, make it look pretty cool. Um, this is where the, the logs get cut, not really, because I can't do that in Minecraft that I know of. Um, but yeah, so I've sort of made the, the foundation of the, the building, and this is actually going to be our home, our temporary home for uh, while we are living at the mill, which is pretty cool. Um, in my opinion, I guess. I guess there's a lot more better better builds out there, but what I'm planning to do, I actually want to make this one shorter um, in the back. So I'm going to do that real quick. I just realized that I could have done that off screen, but that's okay. Not a big deal. It's pretty quick. Uh, this could be a speed up thing. I'm not too sure. We'll see. We'll see how long it takes me to uh, chop all this down. All right, everybody, welcome back. Sorry about that. It only took a few minutes, um, but I decided to speed it up anyways, just because it'd be very, it'd be a lot simpler um, to do so that way. There we go. By the way, guys, I just, I just did it there. Ready, ready. Sword, ready. Check this out. Wood planks. Sword. Wood planks. Axe. Check this out. Got my new mouse. I already tweeted about this. Razer Naga. It's got the uh, 12 buttons on the side there um, for. You know, quick selecting items. I think it's going to be perfect for, for Minecrafting. It's going to take me a little bit of time to get used to the mouse shape, though. Because my old mouse is actually this. If you look here. Super small, um, like, palm, not even palm grip. I mean, um, what's that grip called? Again, claw grip kind of mouse. Uh, it's not a gaming mouse in the slightest. But I really actually liked it. I thought it was really comfortable. So it's going to take me a long time to get used to the grip style of the Razer Naga, but until I do, I, th I don't think it's going to be too big of an issue, but let's fill in uh, this wall here, and then we're going to work on, let's see, we'll work on the second floor slash roof, because I think the second floor is going to just be a roof, like pretty much the roof will go up to a point, and then any space that's left up there, I will use for like a bedroom and stuff, but I'm not going to focus on making like this really big elaborate upstairs because this is just a temporary house anyways. I know this stuff is in the walls, but I'll deal with that as we go. It's not too big of a deal that we uh, we have it there for now. Um, I might want to remove the chest though. The chest will probably get in the way. Oh man, that's unfortunate because there's a lot of stuff in this chest. Give me the crafting table. Um, yeah, I'll just make a chest really quick. Throw it down. Uh, here, right there, and then I'm gonna grab these items that I've been sort of just stocking up on, just throw them in here. So anything I don't need, so birch, egg, uh, yeah, I don't need diorite, oak sapling. Also, I realized that this mouse's sensitivity is a lot faster than my other mouse, so that's something I have to get used to or calibrate it. I just don't know how to calibrate a mouse. I've never done it before. Um, I, I can just probably watch some YouTube videos and learn how, because everything is on YouTube. Everything you'll ever need to know somebody has made a tutorial for on YouTube. So thank you, YouTube world. You guys are amazing. I guess that's sort of us guys, I guess. I don't know. I've never made a tutorial, though, that I know of. Did I make a tutorial? I don't even know. That piston we are going to be using later, so I'll just grab that right now. Um, what else? We don't need that. that okay, everything here will will be fine for now. Let's just, uh, let's just knock down this chest real quick. Yeah, did I get it? Nah, no. Chest, come back. Where you go? Come back here. Okay. That'll that'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. And oh, I misclicked the button that time. Noob. All right, where's the chest that I just picked up? Didn't I just pick up a chest? There it is. Freaking out for no reason. All right, there we go. Move, puppy. Oh, I'm sorry. He got so sad when I said that. 
Anyways, let's go ahead and start up on our roof because I think it's most important that we get a house going right now as opposed to anything else. Um, is this supposed to... Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, so let's start this house off. Um, yeah, let's just let's start building it up. Start building it up like this. Ready? So... Should I go one higher first and then start the roof or no? Uh, let's see. How many blocks would it be? One, two, three. And then the roof would be... Yeah, you know what? Let's just start straight into the roof. What is this one piece overhanging here, though? Why, why is this here? Get that out of here. That's not supposed to be there. Pretty sure it's not supposed to be. And this can be even destroyed. So that's the beam. Although, now I'm confused. Okay, that can go there. That can go there. Yeah, okay. That that makes sense. So now it's going to go like this. One, two, three, four. Just like that. And then we're going to start pyramiding up. And it goes to a two point. Do I like that? Yeah, actually I do. Because then I can put two stairs right here. And then it'll look like, um, like, a, like a triangular roof. So I actually like that. That works for me. The roof at the highest point is three. Oh, it's only two right here, though. Up to here, so I won't have that much space. But that's okay. That's kind of what I was looking for, is a really small home. A really quaint, small home. So what you want to do from here, or like what I want to do, I guess, is kind of do the, the same thing over here, and then just match it up. Just like that. And then one, two, three, four... Boom, just like that. So that way when I stack the uh, shingles across, I guess if you will, if you want to call them that, the shingles, it'll look it'll look good. And then we just want to copy that same design over here one last time. And we should have a Bala house forming. Then right here, I don't know what I'm going to do with the door. That's something I'm going to have to figure out as I go. But the stair will go like this, this, that, and then that. Just like this. So I'm going to need a lot of spruce stairs because I decided I'm going to make the roof out of spruce stairs. I already gone, I've already gone ahead and crafted myself some because I know last episode we did a lot of um, montages of me collecting resources because I was very unprepared for the episode. <laughs> so, so I apologize about that. You know what? While we're down here, let's just go ahead and do all of this. Okay. Ugh. I keep hitting like these stupid random blocks of dirt. Get out of your dirt. Where'd it go? It actually kind of takes me a little bit to think of what key I'm <gasps> trying to press. Wow, hiccups. Good job. Just, just, just get right out of there, why don't you? Um. Okay, let's go inside. It's raining. It's cold. We gotta build this roof ASAP before we get pneumonia. We're gonna get pneumonia. I don't want pneumonia. Ugh. Be awful. Be awful to get. Okay, let's go like that. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna cut across onto our our balcony. Cause this right here, guys, this is gonna be a balcony um, with a, like a nice railing. But that's okay that the roof's right here. This will be cool because I'll be able to go onto my roof from my balcony. Which I don't know why I would want to do that, but I sort of think it would be kind of fun, so might as well put it in there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying what I'm saying? Because I know what I'm saying. I hope you guys know what I'm saying. Because I know what I'm saying. Alright. Place those. Alright, guys. So, I'm going to speed along. Um, I'm going to put it all the way to over here. I'm going to be doing the same thing. I actually want it to overhang one like this, so I'll have to go back and do that on the other side, too. Gosh darn it all. But, yeah. I'm going to do a speed through of just uh, placing down all these blocks along the roof. So you guys can see that because we definitely need to get this house done like ASAP um, because there's been so many mobs and I, I hate the look of that ugly shack. It makes everything that we've built so far look hideous. So uh, I'll, I'll finish that up right now.
So guys, real quick, I noticed that um, my my dimensions are still wrong. Um, I didn't realize that it comes out to one more. So what's going to have to happen here is I, I extended this, which means I'm going to have to bring all these out one more, which is unfortunate because now we're going to have a three wide roof um, going up to a two wide roof. Not the ideal situation, but I'm too lazy to chop down the wall again. So we're just going to leave it as be. I'll figure it out as we go. It shouldn't be too big of an issue. I've dealt with this situation before in the past, so I sort of know how to. Um, you just kind of put like a like a spruce block in the middle or even a spruce wood slab if I needed to or uh, in the middle going all the way across but a block works better because then you have a gap but um, I'll, I will fix that eventually actually no I'm not gonna fix it I'm just gonna leave it as because this is this is a temporary build like I said so it's not too big of a deal but uh, oh man I did it wrong again what the crap Oh, okay, no, I didn't. I just placed the block in the wrong <laughs> wrong spot. Don't worry about it, True. Don't even worry. But, yeah, guys, I'm going to go back to the uh, montage real quick. I just wanted to fill you guys in. Also, um, I'm going to be coming back in a second to show you guys. Actually, I'm just going to do that right now. Let's just do that right now. There's going to be a door right here, so is it going to be right there or one more over? I think it's going to be one more over, so it'll be like that. So I just wanted to show you how the uh, doors are going to connect. I mean, the, the roof is going to connect like that. Um, real simple, nothing, nothing too complex, and then it's just gonna go. It's just gonna continue that pattern. Is that the right spot for the door? Yeah, I like it. I like it. It's not centered, which I sort of like about it. I like that it's not centered. It's not. It's sort of different. Um, but yeah, what you keep doing is you go one more in, and then you make it the L. I'm sure you guys already know. You guys probably play plenty of Minecraft to know how to do this already. Um, that's not what I wanted to do though. So yeah, I'll be right back once I finish the rest of the roof in this style. I just wanted to show you guys how I was planning on doing the uh, the rest of the roof before I went ahead and did it. And uh, there you guys go. So I'll see you guys again in a second. back everybody i have just put together my roof and everything that i said i was going to do in that speed up montage and now i've got uh pauper with me here hey guys and we're just we're just sort of chilling talking about everything on the server and stuff while 
whilst working. Paul, yeah, what are you working, working on? on? I'm just just doing some farming. I, I'm working on long-term stuff like gathering enough stuff for the villager farm. Like the eight stacks of each crop thing. Right. That sounds cool. See, he's working on these crazy things over there while I'm doing something really simple working on my house. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll have to just get my into recording house. together. Yeah. Um, right now, I'm actually building the fence post to go. How do you build a fence post? Don't even. Uh, four blocks with two sticks in the middle in a two in a three That's by two cool. pattern, and it'll be colored like the oh, oh. type of wood. Wait, now I'm derping hardcore. There we go. No, that's a fence gate. What the heck? <laughs> Other way around. <laughs> oh, man, four, oh, man. Four sticks. Yeah. I mean, I mean no, no, no. Two no, sticks, I got you. I got you. Four blocks. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> that's how long it's been since I've played a survival. Well, also, that was new, though. Oh, they changed it? Yeah. That might be why. And that's the craziness of 1.8 right there. I'm trying yes. to figure out everything that's new or changed. Actually, do I want to bring this one more down? I don't even know. Maybe. Kind of looks ugly. So I got this like uh, this little porch I just wanted to have, this balcony. I don't know. It's kind of not. As long as it's right. mob proof. You could put a wraparound patio. I think I might lower it one. It looks kind of out of place right now. I'm gonna do that. It shouldn't take too long. Yeah, it's because I'm just like I'm trying to build this really small house, you know. Like what I built. Yeah, I think it's a little bigger than that. Ah, just a tid, tidbit. Well, like I was saying before, you turn on the recording. You could always use that as your shop front. Yeah, I might, like, convert it or something later, yeah. Looks at this. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so this is going to go down one like this, I think. It's not much of a balcony, but <laughs> it'll have to do. Long as spiders can't crawl into it, it'll sh it should be good. They probably can. Just give it a half slab rim. Okay, that and then looks they can't, better. Then they can't climb up it. So the uh, the next thing I'm gonna have to work on is the inside of my house because the ins it's just like a hollow shell right now. <laughs> uh, now this is the big thing you were building, or the smaller thing next to it. This is it's my when I visited you. When I visited. It's probably the smaller thing. I don't really remember. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was the thing that wasn't, like, built yet, pretty much. Oh, okay. The, not the thing that had the zombie inside of it. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, now I remember. Okay. I'll yeah. just mention to your viewers what I donated to your oh, structures. Yeah. Pulper gave me the, these uh these trees right here. Arcadia? That's how you say it, right? Uh, Acacia. Acacia. You were Acacia. close. You were talking... You said Arcadia, like the place up in Maine. <laughs> and then there's um, dark wood, uh, dark oak, right? Yes. Yeah. He graciously donated that to the cause, the tree farming cause, which I appreciate. No problem. Now you just have to strong arm Frank into giving you some jungle saplings. Yeah. That'll be the next next thing. <laughs> so there's my little balcony. Um, I think the only thing I'm going to do for the rest of this episode is add the spruce pillars, which are right here in each of the corners. And then that'll probably be it for this episode because um, we have pretty much our outside of our house completed and it'll just be left to decorating for the next one. So I can go like that. It's not exactly what I envisioned when I was building my house, <laughs> gonna be honest, but it's gonna have to do. As long as you're happy with it, it, sh it should be good though. Uh, it's not my best building. Let's put it that way. But it's not the worst. It's not the worst, but it's close. It's close. 
It might look better once I add these uh, pillars to it, though. Right um, true. Should can I ask your viewers something? Sure, go ahead. Uh, true's viewers, if you would be interested in True joining me and possibly Alu on a raid of a dungeon structure I found near my house, comment down below hashtag yes. <laughs> Just hashtag yes. Yes. Very simple response right there. And if you want True to help me and Alu with our road to spawn eventually, including bridges and stuff, in live streams. Also, do hashtag bacon down below. <laughs> okay, this is random. So, bacon for for um, working on trails or the roads, and yeah. uh, yes for raiding a. a what you Can I say it? what it is? Yeah, or sure. Or do you want it to be a surprise? Oh no, go ahead. Um, I found out underneath where me and Alu live, we have a, a abandoned mine shaft, which can mean also along with loot. The potential for melon seeds. Oh, wait, that is loot. But um, cave spider spawners, which means we can make grinders. So if you want to see me join them on that, leave that below. <laughs> Hashtag yes for that. And if you want through to join us with road work in live streams, hashtag bacon. Hashtag bacon. Like, I feel like road work is too big for, like, hashtag a multi-part... <laughs> hashtag road work bacon. Road work bacon. No, it's gonna be just hashtag bacon. But I feel you agree with me, like road work is almost too monotonous for an episode or an episode a bunch of episodes that you yeah. post parts of. Yeah, even this sort of was what I'm doing right now, it's like it's just me gathering resources really and building and I don't know. It's it's been it's been fun, but I don't know. I feel like it's not that entertaining watching somebody build a house. By raiding <laughs> is so much fun, too. But I think that that's actually a pretty strong house to start with. Those spots that I cut out will probably be windows. Um, let's well, see. if you need glass, we have sand because we live in a desert. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be really helpful. Someday I'm going to have to go over there. Maybe I'll pay you for some sand. How much would like a like a stack be for sand? Um, let me check how many I have in my chest. Uh, I have seven stacks of sand in my chest. I could part with a stack and a half for... Um, two stacks of charcoal. Two stacks of charcoal? Yes. Interesting. Okay. I because thought you were going to ask need... for some gold. No, we need a lot of, ch of coal or charcoal in order to cook all the cobblestone into stone to make the stone slabs, stone brick slabs to make mm -hmm. the road. Okay, yeah, I think I could probably do something like that. And it's easy to cut down a bunch of dark oak trees, and each piece of charcoal cooks another eight of them. So, if that's an okay... So, was it thing. half a stack, did you say, or a stack? Uh, a stack and a half of stack. sand. Oh, no, I mean of the charcoal. Oh, uh, two charcoal stacks of charcoal. Want? Two stacks of charcoal? Yeah. All right, I'll think on that. Because that is just <laughs> two stacks of logs. Yeah, yeah. Which, like, dark oaks, I think they drop 16 per full-grown tree. Hmm. All right, well, I will definitely think on that. And uh, I actually think since I've completed the outside of my house for the most part... Um, that's probably where I'm going to leave off the episode. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Goliath SMP. And if you did, as always, make sure you hit that like button. Show your support. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.